Reducing belly fat after pregnancy is a challenge faced by most women. At the beginning, new mothers should deal with nursing the sleepless nights of the baby, planning for the future, and also take care of their bodies and mind. While there is nothing wrong with post-baby belly fat, if it is bothering you, it is possible to get rid of it. That squishy round tummy may cause you to feel that you may never be able to lose belly fat. But don't worry, the right exercises, diet and lifestyle changes can help you get back in your previous loving shape as soon as possible. Meanwhile, why does your belly still look slightly bloated? Many reasons can explain why you might still look pregnant after giving birth to a baby. Your belly is like a balloon. As your baby grows, your belly slowly stretches. When your baby comes out, the balloon doesn't pop. Instead, there's a slow release of the air inside the balloon. After giving birth to your baby, the hormonal changes in your body cause the uterus to slowly shrink back to its pre-pregnancy shape. But it takes 7 to 8 weeks for the uterus to come back to the normal size. Sometimes it can be difficult to get rid of belly fat. The extra food that you have consumed during your pregnancy to nourish your baby gets stored in the form of fat. This belly fat is stubborn, and it will take time and proper care to shed that fat. Now, let's take a look at 10 powerful tips which can be a game changer in terms of losing belly fat after your pregnancy. Number 1. Breastfeeding your baby One of the best ways to shed belly fat is to breastfeed your baby. This will not only help build the immunity of your baby, but also help you lose the baby fat and reduce the post-pregnancy belly fat. Breastfeeding your baby can accelerate the shrinking of the uterus. Getting advice from your care provider might help you understand the right way to breastfeed to get rid of that belly fat. Number 2. Walking regularly In general, walking is the simplest form of exercise you can take, not just after giving birth. It does not seem like much at the start, but when you are recovering from the frequent body aches, headaches, and soreness, it is particularly beneficial. It is a pretty good idea to spend evenings taking a gentle walk in the park. Sometimes, you might want to carry your baby as a companion at the same time in a front pack to make your walking time fun and more pleasant. Once you gain control of your body, you can make the necessary changes. It is advisable to track your recovery with regular visit to your care provider and proceed accordingly. Number 3. Getting good nutrition Many women make the trivial yet disastrous mistake of skipping their meals or replacing a proper meal with dietary supplements after giving birth to their baby. It is crucial that you maintain your diet to produce enough milk. It should be enriched with micronutrients that help maintain the metabolic cycle of the newborn's body and ensure proper postnatal development. It's important to keep your energy stable by consuming green leafy veggies, lean protein, spices, green tea, and drinking a lot of water to flush out the toxins. Number 4. Working out If you want to lose that stubborn belly fat after giving birth to your baby, you have to sneak in at least 20 to 30 minutes of cardio and strength training. The best time to work out is when your baby is sleeping. You can do many types of exercises, such as crunches, push-ups, planks, tricep dips, high knees, spot jogging, jumping jacks, lunges, squats, jackknife, bicep curls, leg raises, and more. Keep in mind to exercise at your own pace. But first of all, you must talk to your care provider to get advice in order to know if there are any exercises that you must avoid. Number 5. Avoid extreme diets Sometimes, new moms panic and slip into depression after the birth of their baby. When it comes to getting back in shape, they take extreme measures and go on diets that make them malnourished and ultimately affect the health of the baby. Starving yourself will never help. It will only make the situation worse. Looking for advice from your care provider can help you find out what, how much, and when you should eat to lose belly fat as quickly as possible. Number 6. Getting rest Not resting enough causes toxin buildup in the body, which causes inflammation. When the body is in a continuous state of inflammation, it causes the fat receptors to move to the central region, and the fat molecules get stored in the belly region. It can get a little tricky to get proper sleep and rest with the newborn in the house. 
but take as much rest as you can. Number 7. Practicing Anolum Vilum Practicing yoga such as Anolum Vilum is a good way to deal with belly fat after pregnancy. Anolum Vilum is a breathing exercise that involves drawing air from your diaphragm and holding it in your abs. The regular rhythmic contractions involve considerable tightening during inhalation and relaxation during exhalation, which help in toning your upper and lower abdomen. As you begin to feel stronger, increase the time for which you can hold the air. It also improves digestion by increasing peristalsis or gut movement. Number 8. Practicing Meditation to Relieve Stress As a newborn baby is quite a handful, you will not be able in a few months to do many things that you love such as painting or reading a book to help relieve your stress. So, it is best that you practice meditation, which will help you focus, minimize the background noise, release the negative energy from your system, and improve your sleep quality. The best of it, you will not disturb your baby's sleep by practicing meditation. Number 9. Trying Belly Wraps Like body wraps for total body weight loss, belly wraps or maternity belts may help tuck your abs and accelerate the process of the uterus shrinking back to its original size. This is one of the most old-fashioned ways of reducing belly fat though there is a lack of scientific evidence to suggest its efficacy. However, some research suggests that belly wraps may help improve posture and reduce back pain. What you have to do is wrap your midsection with a piece of soft cloth. Make sure the belt is not too tight or too loose on your belly. Even if you can use the maternity belts available in the market, it is better to talk to your care provider before wearing the belt or wrapping your tummy with a soft cloth. We'll leave a link of good quality belly wraps in the description below. Check it out if you are interested in having one to help you shed belly fat after your pregnancy. Finally, number 10. Getting a full body massage. A massage can be a very effective way to lose belly fat without having to go to the gym to sweat your body. Get a massage that will target your belly and help reduce the tummy fat. It will release and distribute fat in the body and improve metabolism to help you get rid of the belly fat. It would be better to get a massage every week to see best results, but you can do it differently in the time frame you want. Now you may be asking yourself how long it may take to have your tummy to shrink back if you follow these tips. It rarely happens that the tummy of a new mom shrinks back to normal in just a few days. For most new mommies, it takes a few months to shrink back to normal. Unfortunately, some mothers do not lose their pregnancy pouch if they don't make any effort for that. Don't be afraid because if you stay active, have nutritious and healthy food, and follow a few good tips, you will be able to reduce belly fat quickly. That's it for this video today and I hope you get value from it. If so, consider subscribing to the channel and hit the like button and the notification bell so that you never miss out on any new informative video uploaded. Remember, your health is your priority. I'll see you in the next informative episode.